I'm using KiCad 8.0.0 which was released just a couple of days ago and in this video I want to talk about the new schematic editor in KiCad 8. So in KiCad 8 the schematic editor has been upgraded by introducing several new UI or user interface panels that enhance the user experience. These panels can be accessed and toggled via the view menu you can see right up here and there's also a couple of buttons on the left hand toolbar that we can also use and they offer a range of new capabilities. I start with the most noteworthy addition which is the properties panel that you can access with this button here and also via the, the view menu this option right here show properties manager just going to click on the toolbar button right there. So what this allows you to do is to show several properties of whatever it is that you have selected in the editor. So I've got a couple of wires here, you can see the properties appear, I've got a symbol, you can see its properties there. So this is just a quick way to do things such as first have a look at the basic properties but also make changes to fields like that. This is something that you can also still do by double clicking on the item that you want to edit to bring up the properties window like this and then you can edit things such as reference value, footprint etc. And some of those items here are also available in the properties uh, UI panel. Another thing that you can find here are the attributes. So you can see down here there's the, at the list of attributes that are also available in the symbol properties window. So either of those, let's see what happens if I change it here, yeah, up here in the second option I guess you can call that double click and you can see that those have disappeared. So that was the properties panel. Another thing that has been upgraded is the search panel. You can bring up the search panel via the view menu. So view and then show search panel and it looks like this. So here in the search panel you can search for things such as symbols, text and labels. And let's say I want to look for uh, 21 just type it in the field and there's R21 and it highlights it as well in the schematic. I can go for let's say U1 and that comes up as well. I can also search as I said for text and for labels. And there's information in the documentation on how the search panel works and as you can see here it also supports wild cards including regular expressions. Another notable enhancement is the net navigator which visually displays the path a highlighted net across a complex hierarchical design tech takes. Let me demonstrate how it works. I'm just going to clean up first. I'll remove the search panel and remove the properties as well. And there's a tool up here that does the same thing it, and that's been available if I'm correct since KiCad 7. So I've just highlighted the net highlighter button. So if I click on one of those nets, let's say VBus, you can see it's already highlighted. Here's another example. Let's go down here, let's highlight one of those. You can see what's happening. You can visually see where a particular path goes in your schematic. But now if I enable the net navigator, you can also see that information here in the panel on the left side and it looks like this. So you get text information of where a particular net, the net that you have highlighted goes. And it's also fully interactive so you can click on things and the schematic editor will take you there, will highlight whatever you clicked on in the schematic.